wait, it's patience with Steve. See? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Good Good Extras video. We've got something obviously that you guys have been staying tuned for for a while. It's the Saturday matches. Once again, it's me versus Steve. Yep. I wanted a little bit of redemption the last time. I don't know Smacked what him. happened to this guy, but he played phenomenal. Yeah. And today's gonna be a little different. Um, I'm gonna try and come out here and give him a little bit, little bit more competition. Obviously you guys know it's match play. We're out here at Gentle Creek, hole number one. We'll flip a tee to see who goes first. And that's gonna be Steven. Yep, that's Steven, look at that. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Anyways, Brad and and uh, Sean just did one. Yeah, they just did one. They said the court it's playing hard today, or they didn't play very well. So hopefully we can do better. Yeah, well, bad for them is even and one under. So we got uh, we got quite the competition if we want to beat that. What in the Steven slices back, bro? I like that. Sit there. Bunker. Just shorter in. Yeah, bunker. All right, that's fine. Let's go. Okay. Don't get in, Steve. Don't get in. Don't get in, Steve. I hit that so bad. That was one of those just swinging at it. What's going on, guys? NBA All-Star Weekend is here, and our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy, wants to make it a lot more interesting. Underdog Fantasy is the easiest way to play fantasy sports. All you have to do is pick higher or lower on your favorite player's stats, and you can win big money. Underdog offers easy, simple picks on football, basketball, UFC, esports, and more. And it's pretty simple. Again, all you have to do is pick a higher or lower number on your favorite player stat, and you can win big. Pick between two to five players to build your pick'em entry, and if you get all your picks right, you can win up to 100 times your money. Underdog is available in 30 plus states, including California, Texas, Florida, and even Canada. Again, it is NBA All-Star Weekend, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making my picks. Uh, if you haven't been following along, the boys have actually been using my underdog account to make all the picks for these videos. Entry amount. Well, I'm playing on Colin's account, so I'll just throw the whole bank account in there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and they've been winning a lot, and I think I started with like $200 in my account, and now it's up to 1900 bucks. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna make some picks for the All-Star game, which I'm actually gonna make some picks for the dunk contest, because I kind of always like following that along. I remember watching Mac McClung last year just absolutely going off like a beast. The pick in here I'm gonna go with is Mac McClung higher than 98.5 round one score. I'm also gonna make another pick in the dunk contest for Jacob Toppin. I'm gonna go lower than 93.5 round one score. And I'm also gonna hop over to the three point contest. My guy, Jalen Brunson, I'm gonna go better than uh, 4.5 round one finishing position. The man's an animal, him and Josh Hart, the Nova boys up at the Knicks. Also, if you're a new underdog customer, you can pair that with LeBron James to score more than 0.5 points. He literally just has to score one point and you win. So obviously gonna add that. And boom, my pick'em entry is submitted. This is the easiest way to make money on underdog. And if you use code good on sign up, underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. That's underdog fantasy, promo code good. All right, well, Steven, unfortunately, is in the bunker. So he's gonna have kind of a tough shot, but he should be able to get it somewhere close to the green, if not maybe on. I see my ball just over there on the left side. I'm in a great position, so. Car path only, so I gotta walk. That's yeah. tough. That's why I play in the bunkers. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so you ain't gotta walk, huh? Yo. All right, a 145 from right here is probably one, wow. You good? <laughs> All right, I got an eight iron and seven iron. It should be like 155. Yeah, I better grab my rake. Look at that, look, look, at, that. look at that damn walk. Look at that damn walk. What you doing, big fella? <laughs> Holy Steve. What? Nice shot, my guy. Thank you. Like I said, left edge of the fairway here. Got a great shot at it. I don't know how Steven hit that. That's some cheeks. Oh, it's just a little long. Man, Luis, did you see that thing tracking for a second? Yeah, I did. Dang, that thing looks so beautiful. <clears throat> not bad, not a bad start. I'm just on that back edge. Should have a, a decent chip at it. Maybe even a putt. Gotta start off early with uh, maybe a birdie. That should put Steven out of his misery quickly. Dead greens are kinda, oh, they're running quick. Left to right. I'm just gonna do two feet out left with the right distance, hopefully. Uh-oh. That's gonna be a problem, brother. A little slower than I thought, okay? I'm still gonna make that though. Gosh. If you guys didn't already know, this is match play. So nine hole match, just for birdie. Man, I barely hit that too. I was just trying to get good speed on it. And I... okay. All right, Steven needs this one. Huh, interesting, huh? All right, little bogey to start off the rip. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not salty. Just a little angry. Come on. Wow, that putting grip's a little wacky. 
Woo! All right. I ain't the putting grip. That was a misread on my part. I thought it broke. I thought it broke out left to right back up down that hill because it moved this way. So, all right. Like Steven said, these are his warm up holes. So I gotta take advantage of these guys. One up right now. Got to tack early on these on these uh, first four holes before this man somehow catches fire and shoots like three under. So we got to step up and play well. Hole number two, par five, about 5:30 from here. Yeah. That's tough. She gone. That's tough. She gone. He's about 400 yards down there. Dude, that tight draw be crushing things lately. That's huge. All right, Steve. Slippage. <laughs> stay, just stay. Stay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ice skating out here. That bowling stands, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a little slide, big fella. That's just how you gotta finish. If you're not doing that when you're playing golf, I don't know what to tell you other than to get some lessons. Maybe from me. Well, we got like 300 yards to the pin. It is a par five, so I mean, there's a black tarp out there. I'm gonna go out that, and if she wants to fade, she can. Oh. <laughs> you, good layup. <laughs> good layup. I got a pretty solid advantage on this hole. This is a typically a hole where with my drive, it should be somewhere up in here because usually it's pretty dry out here. So unfortunately it's a little wet, so it's not really moving anywhere. Yeah, we got all the 250 here. I don't know if hybrid's getting there. What am I fading it for? I mean, that's gonna be fine, but what am I fading it for? That's kind of a big advantage for Steve now because that ball should be on the green pin high somewhere. Lift clean and replace, AKA lift clean, make a T, set it back down. Okay, now that we got that done. <laughs> the pin's 240, uh, 240 away, I got a hybrid. I just anywhere kind of near the green, see if I can't get up and down. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but that's what happens when you top the ball. Oh, we're gonna have to get up and down. <clears throat> One more hole is all I need. All right, well, Sharf is on the car path. Clear placing goes like right there. Yeah, right about here. This is a big shot here because I can get up and down for birdie. Steven's got to get that up and down for par, so I need to hit a, a somewhat decent shot to give myself a, you know, 10, 10 footer or so at least. A little bit uh, spun out of this stuff, just a little bit. <clears throat> That's tough. At least I got a birdie putt, but it's not what I wanted. Dang! Let's get this up and down. That was a Mustang. Let's get this. All right, hell yeah. Let's get this up and down. Did that spin? Yeah. All right, Louise. As you can see, these are two very pitiful shots. I got to make sure I calculate for the for the spin here because it can still spin quite a bit out of this rough and, and fairway. So we got this uphill putt, <clears throat> right to left or for birdie. Steven's got that left for par. Too. All right, let's see if I, second part of the day, let's see if I can't get this under, under control. So. Oh! Gave her a run, that's all I can ask for. Hey, mad, I'm just salty, once again. Come on, big fella. <laughs> you know, I gotta make this, if I make this, it won't matter, but. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, so he's warming up. <laughs> he's got one more, he's got one more potential mess of pole, and then, and then, and then he's gonna start picking it up, and that's when things can get, a little interesting out here. So. <laughs> Knock off the coffin, <clears throat> dude. Dude. All right, got a little interesting thing behind the camera now. I got Steven. You can tell because he's holding it like this. Yeah, that's how I hold the camera. <laughs> Steady shots. Watch this. You know, I, I, I'm got. I literally had it. It's so good. All right. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Two up. Hole number three. Um, typically, can be very gettable from this tee box, but. Obviously, we're not getting there today. Me and Steve with driver. Got to keep playing well. I'm on a bit of the struggle bus. Two bogeys, two down. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I don't know what I was about to film. Watch this. I mean, that is... What is going on? My driver that smoked. Problem is, it's going to get no rollout. Woo! That's a center punch poke. <sighs> what does that even mean? Hey, just make sure you don't slip like Kendrick. He was spinning, but that... Yep, we should be fine. Hey, we got a little game going now. <laughs> game going, just wait, just wait a second. I'm gonna make a birdie here. All right, got 100 yards even. Uh, I got a 56 degree. It's a little wet, so just in case I do chunk it. Smart man. Hopefully it goes a little bit further than it would. Middle of the green, sit. 
right. Hey, I mean, green I, green poke ain't bad. I'm getting the swing dial. My putting has just been. <laughs> I'm about uh, 20 feet left of the pin, which I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm hitting my greens in regulation. Yeah. No, I'm not. But uh, I mean, that's your first one today. But I do like second one. Hey, we, hey, hey, go ahead. Please sit down. I do this every time on the screen. And just like that, Steve opened that door back up with a little crack. What am I doing? I'm about to slide under like some liquids. Might slide up your way. All right, Luis, I gotta get up and down. It's gonna fall right. It has to fall a little right. It doesn't have, I mean, it doesn't have to do anything I say, but at least I've got that for par. Left to right here uh, for birdie, Matt's for par. Like I said, you just gotta stick around for Steve. I come in hot in the end. Ooh, Left the short. Garnitas. That's good. Sure. Dang, he clutched it anyway. Good luck, big fellow. This is for me to come back in the match one down. That's in. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> ah! See you later, brother. How? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I hit a lip too. Oh I, my. You just gotta wait. It's dude. patience with Steve. Patience with Steve, okay? Next hole. Uh. All right, Steve, hey, you got one back. That's the only one you're getting. Guess who's on the tee box right now? Anyways, hole number four, 456 yards, par four. As you guys can see, it's wide open. No one's on the course. I'm just gonna rip away. Hopefully this goes somewhere where I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I might have a tree right in front of me. She gone. She gone. <laughs> I can see when it lands. I saw it too. Now. Who's talking now? Yeah, mine could be in play though. Man, that's some some rocky tee, star, tee shots. This is a, a, the toughest tee shot hole on the front nine. So we got that look to forward to. What? We have 170 yards to the pin here. It's kind of an interesting situation. It's a little downwind, so I'm actually going to hit a full nine iron in there. Oh, Luis, it was it. 100% the number two. Because I was originally going to grab eight iron. So glad that I didn't because I would have been 30 yards long of the green. I am just over the bunker in a really solid spot. Let's see what Steve does. All right, 165 to the pin. I have a seven iron. I got to go under trees and above this one. Oh, lick that. Just short. That's a good shot. That literally sprung into my eyeball. All right, like I said, Louis, see what I'm saying? This is a perfect position. Nine iron was just enough to get here, but not enough to reach here. Maybe a lucky bounce was potentially involved, but really solid chance to get an up and in here situation. I'm looking to chip this one in. Turn, 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 would you? Man, look at Steve. Hey, zoom in on that. Zoom in on that face over there. Well, that's good. I mean, you need a birdie, not a par, but that's okay. I gotta go over some yardage, but uh, it should be pretty easy. It's the closest I've been to the hole so far. I know you're gonna make it. I already know you're gonna make this it. This is a foot and a half. I, I know, I know foot. you're gonna make Look, it. Luis. See? All right, that was dirty to me. <laughs> that was, all right, I didn't need that, brother. I just need you to tap it in. There's still one down, which means you played that hole great. We have a par four here, or three. a short par three here, and anything can happen. We got a 151 to the pin. I got an eight iron. I'm just gonna play a little, hopefully, fingers crossed, an eight iron fade in there. Oh wow. That's a big fade. That was so well struck though. All right, door back open. Just like that, it just opens and closes constantly. A little door opening here, but you gotta hit a good shot. That's the key. Center of the green, that's all we want. He said it's long like I don't know my clubs. What an idiot! Matt wants a read right now, so I'm gonna do everything but give him that read. I'm gonna get a little freaky with this shot. He's either gonna go really well, or we're gonna go back down to two. Oh my gosh, you ain't doing that. I can't. There you go. You gotta get it there in order to call it a good read. I mean, I know it breaks left and right. Hey. 
I ain't complaining. I'm gonna make that punt, big fella. All right, well, the good news is we know it goes left to right, but actually what's interesting is it's on just a tad bit of a ridge, so actually it's gonna move back to the left after the end of the putt, so I gotta be careful with that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that might have been the worst putt I've ever hit on this hole. <laughs> You're jumping up and down like a toddler for it. Oh, in the hole. Okay. There's just no excuses for that one, Luis. That was just the worst part of my life. He's touched a lot of lips from about three feet away, so when you get about seven, whoo! Bust. Center of the green really did you well, huh? Big fella. <laughs> that is like, I mean, I'm just leaving the door cracked for this idiot over here. This is absolute ding dong. That was like the, oh my goodness. There's no excuse. That was just a terrible putt. It wasn't even a misread either. I just hit it like on the toe. It just a lot going on there, guys. But I'm still one up, moving on to the next par five. Very gettable for me and Steven. Should uh, hopefully see some low scores. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, still got the tee. I'm not sure. This is a par five. I don't know the exact yards, but it's going to be a big one to get there in two. It'll be three hole, three three shot hole, but it's gonna be that at least. Steven unfortunately hit a pretty bad tee shot, so. It's a worm burner. What do you mean? It's a worm burner. He's fine. I mean, he'll he'll be on play. It'll be tough to get there in two for him. But obviously, I'm trying to beat Steve, but I'm also trying to play against myself here, and I want to try to shoot a good score. I'm two over. I can get back in it. Sure. Woo! Sure. That's, that's a rocket, Luis. We hit a worm burner. I think he just got caught up on the grass. So Matt has like 100 yards on me, but it's a par five. I'm gonna rip another driver. Hopefully a little bit better than that first one. Should be just short right of the bunker. Or it might be on the green. I don't know how I don't know how far it was. I just knew I had a long ways. All right, I'm really happy about this. Great contact. Steven hit a pretty solid. Uh, DOD up there, so he should be just in fine. Gotta focus up. Need to hit this green. Make eagle. Oh, I hate when I do that. Pulled it. Nah, probably went that bunker, didn't it? I just kind of pulled it. Just came across it just a little bit. Wanted to play more of that punch shot kind of technique. Let it run up on the green. Up and down bunker shot for me. Advantage, Steven. Yeah, Alright, hit it from there. You know, if you step on it, and allegedly if you see the water come up, it's uh... Get was a hazard? To, get the mover somewhere dry. You're supposed to go backwards, but I always go forwards because never go back in life. I'll tell you that. Words of advice right there. Let's see what we can do. Dang! Suck on that, Shar. See, it just bounced back there and trickled right in here, unfortunately. Tough bunker shot out here at Gentle. I am very happy about that. Hey, Luis! Brother, get this man I pretty much, cheat. I've been topping my drives all day and I'm still in a match with you. Oh my, he did it! Did He's, you see it hit this and almost say, I'm not going in the hole? Come and look at this, Luis, come come close. Come and, cl come and look at what I was dealing with. Look at that. That's what it hit. See it. And it almost said no, and I would have literally probably tore that hole out and put it somewhere else. Been lipping putts all day. Let's see if he can't make one. Psych, we know he sucks. This is a 3v3 scramble. You know me, you, and Bubby ain't making this. <laughs> Come on, brother. That's hey, it. Why you moving so much back there? Too much speed. Hey, what did I say? All square going to the final three holes. Seven, hey, eight, frick. and nine. I feel like this might have been what would happen last time. This exact thing. I think you're already up to at this point. Okay, yeah, probably was. Stevens somehow gotten this match back to all square. Slow but steady, I worked my way back. I'm like a turtle, but I'm gonna go at the right edge of this tree and I don't care if it fades or draws. Yeah, she gone. Sit, 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 No car pass. It's gonna be over in that goalie about 190 yards away from the hole. Ain't nothing I haven't dealt with before, trust me. I played all this holes. That is true, he's playing cart golf out here today. I need another great drive, little Pierce right down the center, get myself a wedge. I need to make birdie here, Luis. Need to give myself a comeback. Oh, the tee just hit me in the nuts. Ow. Sometimes I've been, I've been working on this weird 
swing thought in my head on the range with kind of like this really coming from the inside. Like my elbow's getting like to here, which is great, but I'm trying to figure out how to rotate more so I don't hit that weird slice thing. So, interesting hole. What did I say? I didn't hit it very far, but I still caught up to her. Let's see what we got here. Probably 174. Okay. I'm just going to kind of swing at this one. Trust it. Wow. I need to, I need to, I need to look at that video, watch that swing about 500 times until it's ingrained into my skull and do that every time. Holy crap, that felt good. Well, here we are, Luis. Just like I said, plenty of room over here when I kind of hit that little fairway finder. I knew I wasn't going to go long into this stuff up here. So, Steven kind of hit a good shot though, didn't he? We got 146 yards. I got pitching wedge in hand because it's a little downwind and I've been hitting it really, really square with my iron. So, I think this will get there. All right, Luis. Steven hit a great shot. Stay, stay. No. No. Ah, too cutesy with it. Sit. That's not the way. How about I two putt real quick? I should have just thrown it on the center of the green like a smart little boy. Go ahead and pull it. Yeah, went for it. All right, go ahead. All right, I've, I've picked a line. This ball is going to be hard to stop, so anywhere within a foot or two, I'm kind of happy. How did you leave that above the hole? That's, that's going to be a hard putt. <laughs> I'm going to need to see that one. <laughs> I'm going to need to see that one. Ah! <laughs> Alright, good putt. <laughs> Did you imagine though, if I had a chance, that would have been crazy. That would have been probably good to know to leave it short of the green, because that seems to be an illegal pin. Two holes left. I don't think I haven't had tee box in a long time, brother. No, you've had it the last couple of holes. 411, dog leg left. You guys know this hole. Once again, I'm just going to kind of go down straight, and if she wants to keep doing that peel fade, fine. Just don't go out of bounds. gonna be a hard bunker shot but i've done it before matt the door's opened again i know i gotta i gotta close on this door here because i put myself in the absolute worst position i could be in just long long of that bunker when you have that pin is just easy to make double so putting the driver away here <sighs> smooth three wood down the fairway did you chunk that yes i did and that's fine that's fine when you chunk it 210 yards, folks. Boy, we have got ourselves a hole. Oh, no, 155. That is terrible. <laughs> 146 from the bunker. I'm going to hit a little, a little eight iron. Like that big fella? All right. It takes me a while. I'm like I'm like a Ferrari. I'm not like a Ferrari. I'm like a Honda Civic in the beginning, but I turn into a Ferrari. Hey, I don't know what Steve's doing hitting shots like that, bro. That ain't like him. It's gotta be good. Wow. No, oh, good. You slick now, huh? I don't know. I thought that was gonna stop up here somehow. Kind of grab you up on the fringe. So that was a good shot, though. I could be reading this really wrong or really right, big fella. <laughs> hey, my driver sucks butt cheeks, but that's two birdies in a round. Okay. Well, there you go. That's going to wrap it up. This is our second match. Got a little lucky there at the end. The beginning is always rough for me. I never warm up, so my driver is gone. I, it's completely gone. I probably could have played better with the two iron the whole time. Anyways, everything else felt great. No, it was great. I mean, I started off hot, started great. <clears throat> driver started to fall apart at the end. I don't I don't know what's going on with that thing. I'm, I'm just dropping it in two inside. I got to go practice some more on that, but ah, that's tough. That was a good match. We'll have to, we'll have to play again. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these Saturday matches. Uh, I don't know if Brad's and Sean's is out already, but they played pretty solid. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.